Hi guys, uh, it's EGC here. So today I'm here with another uh, deck profile. Um, before telling you what it is, uh, what well, what exactly it is, I'm telling you it's not another uh, Great Nature deck profile, because uh, I was trying to get the gorilla working, the guiders of last five and can't stand on your front row and retire stuff, but I can't actually find a source to like so charge to make the deck easier to work so uh, I'm kind of giving up that one but I will see what I can do if I can find another way to like stay longer so I can at least use, use it once then uh, I will show you guys but so far it's not happening and uh, what I'm showing you today is the uh, Neo Nectar deck, which is uh, the second clan that I'm playing from the new set, uh, because I'm not playing Gold Paladin this time. Um, the build is interesting. The Gold Paladin build is build is interesting, but uh, I can't afford myself to play free clans, and uh, I love Azos more, so I rather keep my build as ASO. So let's start with this. So starter since we have a new one, so I'm using a new one. And then I'm running four of the uh Arpos Dragon. So the skill is first skill, it's a permanent skill. Uh the plant token you call becomes uh, great zero, 10k attack, 10k shield. Uh, one crit with boost and intercept so as long as you have him as a vanguard all the plant tokens you call will be upgraded because usually what you call is a uh, great zero 5k just that so they uh they can boost but they can intercept but now you call something like this do you have uh, actually got the new tokens as well so I would suggest if you are playing this deck uh, try to get your tokens so that you can uh, differentiate them if not if you are using like the old tokens the new one you better uh, find some other card games or some other stuff don't use the same one so you won't mix them up because their base power is different they got shield value they can be uh, inter they can use to intercept so do be careful and then the second skill is active skill uh, retire one of your regard and call up to two of your plant tokens then if you have five or more regards during the turn this unit will get 10k so you can just get 10k easily as long as you have a whole field you pop one to call two and both of them are uh, 10k attacker or booster or you can even just build a 20k line so this deck is very good to use force 2 because you don't actually need force 1 to pump your power that much because he can get power himself uh, you can get 10k boost and call whatever to hit key numbers you want with force 2 uh, the pressure is even higher so a uh, very good unit to use and you don't need to look at your opponent's grade you don't need to look at the great phrases or so as long as you ride him both effects can go off and then I'm running free of the Cecilia uh, as a backup because you uh, might not be able to use or plant tokens that easily sometimes I don't know but if you need a solution to call non tokens field uh, she's your way and also her skill to call unit if you if you have a great friend in soul instead of two you call three and you pump your front row for 10k which we force to uh, you get the power gain so still helpful And then 
I'm running the uh, fruits or sword dragon. <laughs> fruits or sword dragon. Because uh, my build is on Nara. Uh, Grace Hero Focus, Plant Token Focus. So I find him more useful than other stuff because his skill is during your turn. Uh, this power, this unit attacks power will add up uh, to all your great zeros or regional power so because you're calling like, all the new ones if you call free you will get 30k which is nice but if you pump them you still won't get the extra power that pump because they, uh, he only counts the original but I think that's good enough so here's my uh, freeze and uh, <coughs> on great twos so I'm first running four of the uh, timber so first skill when timber appears as an anchor circle the next plant token you call will be the upgraded plant token which uh, I think is good because you can just get an better token and then the second skill is a regard appear skill you can call uh, one plant, to plant token if you want but it will be an old one but with uh, timber on the field as a vanguard first then if you call another timber you can upgrade the plant, plant token already if you have him then when you call a timber you get an upgraded plant token so it's easy to get free stuff and like no resources uses so I think it's fair and good and I think this one is the key for the deck so let's talk about the skill uh, first skill well actually the only skill active skill uh, if there's two or more Airbrose card in your soul by counter blasting one uh, to do one of the following first one call to plant tokens two uh, the second skill to retire two of your units during the turn this unit will get 20k and one crit so because we are running force two mainly so if you can pump this card 20k and edit crit and then on force 2 you are hitting just by herself uh, 30k and free crit which sometimes can end game there and give you enough pressure for your opponents to guard because they never know what's going on and like you still got to drive check so maybe you can get more crit get more power then they have to guard it or if you don't have enough uh, booster on the field then you can call to plant tokens so I think it's quite key and what you need is only one kind of blast and we should you also have two airbrush dragon which which your starter will be so try not to so blast him this is and which already is two if you got a great one then you can do it early game if not, when you run grade 3, if you have these, then you, you will be set to. Even if not, just rewrite and you'll get there. And then I'm running 4 of the uh, Sylvia. Just because, like, again, it's a plant token focus. So I try to keep focus on stuff that can call plant tokens. And she just need to be called to call a plant token so again it's kind of free save the resources so very quickly two is done then next is great one first i'm running uh three of the great one ambush dragon uh, one reason is because of the great two they need two ambush dragon in soul so if I can get great one great seal first when I grab it grade two I can uh, just use the effect right away 
and also the skill when this card attack it boost hit uh, look at the top 4 card of your deck if you want if you do then you can choose to reveal one of the airbox card and add to your hand then the rest of the card go to the bottom of the deck in any order you choose so uh, not only this will help you to fill in your um, soul with airbox dragon and help you to search a great tool or great free air force dragon so like why not and again it's free so you just need to call it boost or attack and hit which is i think is kind of simple and help you already gain and then i'm running for familiar car uh usually she can be a card that ruin your plan because if you write her first and you need to so blast your grace zero then uh it's hard for her to get enough so early game but if you need plan tokens to help you push early game then you can use her so it's a common tag that i think is still good to keep but do be careful on your choices And I'm running two of the Rebecca. Uh, this for now, most of the time, the plant tokens are called uh, upgraded ones, so I try not to kill them by myself. But she can get one of your great one lower unit 5k, so get your upgraded plant tokens to 15k. And uh, if you need to take shield, you can just so blast one and kill one of the plant tokens to get her back to your hand. So I think she is still handy. Uh, can help you defend sometimes. But you just need to remember to use her skill at the end of the turn. If not, then sometimes it will be a waste. And then I'm running free of the uh, Maiden of Happy Fawn. Happy Fawn. Uh, so her skill is just basically is a Sylvia another way to call plant tokens so that you can call upgraded ones or you can just call normal ones if you don't have a way to upgrade them but again ways to call plant tokens is important in here that's why uh, playing free of her so as you can see, most of the time the deck is not eating kind of last unless you go to uh, Cecilia, which I think is nice, and you don't need to worry too much. Then for triggers, I'm running eight crits, four of the PG draws, and four heals. Very simple. Uh, Try to maximize force to try to push, keep pushing, so you can win the way. So I think this deck is uh, well, it's fun. Uh, you don't need to think too much compared to the upgraded Cecilia build, because for that, uh, you need to always thinking what. You need to keep what you need to kill, what you need to call, uh, and you need to depend on your luck. If you look at the top five and call two or three, do you get enough? Do you get what you want? Uh, yeah, so that one is fun too because uh, my main deck was that one, and it took me quite a lot of time to keep thinking on what's the best plan on turn what can I do next and such but if you want to see that do comment below and I can uh, switch this one to that one and show you guys but I think if you are uh, like looking at the new set and thinking which plan should I play or uh, 
if I'm going to invite a friend to get into this game, which deck should I get them to play? I think this one is a good one, because most of the skills are very simple. You just need to make sure the plan tokens you call are new or old. Then you basically just keep calling stuff, call plan tokens, and then kill them for power, uh, or make new ones. And you can have a lot of time to teach them how to save resources to guard. Because with this deck, it's kind of like the old Cecilia that you don't need to call stuff from your hand every single turn and they will just keep regenerate themselves and you can just keep your hand and then you can take your time to guard without thinking too much on attacking you just need to uh, just try to keep riding get free force 2 and just keep hit them hard and until you win which this deck is kind of an autopilot to me so I like to uh, think a little bit more also uh, in this deck I saw people sometimes use her too because uh, she can get 5k and a crit which on force 2 can hit at least 3 damage I try to make this deck simple and uh, try to reduce to rely on her because I got a grade 2 and I can do the job already so uh, and I like to see this guy shine with high power force 2 I think it's still good enough because sometimes if you got force 2 and just her without like upgrade the plant tokens she can only hit uh, 23 if you don't have a boost for her she can only hurt, uh, hit 18 so I don't think it's a good enough number and what if you uh, got her in hand because you need to call her from the deck and during that turn she will get the skill to get 5k and 1 crit so if you don't do that then she's kind of wasted and in order to let you to do that that much you will need to put a lot of her in the deck which I'm trying not to break the balance because you can see here I'm only running 4 3 and 2 which is 9 and if I need to run 3 of her then it's likely that I need to do something like free. This might be free, and then free of her. But uh, in my opinion, I don't quite like that way. So you can try this build first and find a way and see if you like it. If not, then you can do a little bit changes. But I think this deck, this list is just good as it is. So do let me know in your comments, uh, sorry that this video is a little bit late cause uh, I've been sick like early week and was trying to think a way to get the Great Nature Gorilla to work but well find a lot of ways but didn't work and, or they take too long which usually the way that I showed you is already a better way without the PR so do let me know uh, your comments on this one and Bermuda is likely to come in two weeks and also the Hong Kong WGP will also be in two weeks and I'm likely to be there so uh, hopefully I can take some records or about what's happening uh, if you want to know the results and such you can just go to follow my Twitter or wait for my uh, report afterwards, which might take a while because I need to take in some data and uh, look at them, analyze them before I make the video instead of just telling you what's like what's the result. 
because those that would be done in on Twitter. So, yeah, uh, I think that's all for today. And Frank Garcia is started, so do get a hands to at least have a try. Uh, for now, I might not be streaming that lately, but maybe later when I get better, uh, like my health get better, then I can start doing that. But yeah, so not keeping you here too long. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Signing off.